In this video we're going to do some quick numerical examples of a potential divider equation. So the first question is, what is this voltage just here? We've got 6 volts in and a pair of 2K resistors. So looking at it here we've got this voltage V1 and this voltage V2, which is what we're trying to find. So we can see straight away that this is easily done by ratios. So the ratio of R1 to R2 is simply 2K to 2k which reduces to 1 to 1 they're the same so therefore the ratio of v1 to v2 is also 1 to 1 and therefore v2 the one we're looking for is simply 3 volts because what we must have is v2 must be 3 volts here and v1 must be 3 volts here they must be the same the resistors are the same so the Voltages must be the same, this one's the same as this one, so this one must be the same as this one, so that's fine. And they must add up to 6 volts, 3 and 3, 6 volts. Example number 2. What we're asked to find here is the value of the missing resistor. Okay, so we'll draw our voltages on again. We've already been told here we've got 5 volts here, and therefore, because we've got 6 volts as our supply voltage, we must have 1 volt just here. So therefore, the voltages V1 to V2 are in the ratio 1 to 5, and therefore the resistors R1 to R2 are also in the ratio 1 to 5, but we know that R1 is 2K, and therefore 2K to R2 must be in the ratio 1 to 5. It means R2 must be 5 times bigger, so R2 must be therefore be 10 kilo ohms. So this resistor here becomes 10k. Job done. Looking now at number 3. This is very similar to the one we had before. We have 2 volts just here. We have 6 volts in total still, so that means we must have 4 volts just here. The voltages are in the ratio of 4 to 2. That's not very neat. 4 to 2, which is the ratio 2 to 1, and therefore the resistors must be in the ratio of 2 to 1. We know that R2 is simply 12k, and therefore R1 to 12k must be in the ratio 2 to 1. R1 is twice as big as R2, that's what it means. So R1 is therefore 24 kilo ohms. Okay, job done again. Moving on to the next example. Now this is a bit more complex because if you notice we've got to try and find both resistor values. We don't know either of them. And our voltages are not trivial. So here we have 1.4 volts and here we have, well it's got to add up to 6. So if it's got to add up to 6 it's got to be 1.4. 6 subtract 1.4 is going to be 4.6 volts. Like that. And therefore our resistors must be in the same ratio as the voltages. V1 to V2 is 4.6 to 1.4. Okay, we could divide that by 2 if we wanted, but the easiest thing to say is R1 to R2 has got to be ratio 4.6 to 1.4. So we could use R1 is 4.6 ohms and R2 is 1.4 ohms, but that'd be very silly because they're really small values. So we could say, well, let's make them bigger. We could say R1 is 46 kilo ohms, and we could say R2 is 14 kilo ohms. That would work. Or we could choose another set of values. We could double them. We could say R1 could be 92k and R2 could therefore be 28k. 
that would work. Or we could keep the same ratio and we could halve them. We could make them 23k and we could make R2 um, 7k. That would also work. So we can just keep going, having whatever ratios we like. Or we could, if we only had a limited number of resistors, choose the closest values we have. So we could use R1 is 22k, which is a standard value, we know that works. And we could choose R2 is 6k8, 6.8k, which is probably not going to give us quite the right voltages, but you know what? It's probably close enough. Here's an important problem. What we want to do is find the one missing resistor such that this value and this value, the two voltages, are the same. This is often done in potential dividers using to drive comparators and you're given something like this one here and you know these two at the bottom and you're asked to find the, the blue question mark. So how do we go about doing that? Well, for the first potential divider, this one here, we know that the ratio of the resistors is 200 to 900, which is 2 to 9, and that will give us a certain voltage. Let's call it VA. And we also know that if we take the second potential divider, we might get another voltage, VB, just here. And to get the same voltage, we've got to be in the same ratio. So for this one here, what we're going to find is that question mark to 18,000 is our ratio. But because they're going to be the same, that's got to be also 2 to 9. So now it's just a case of doing the math. So 18,000 is to 9, as 4,000 is to 2. So therefore, the question mark must be 4 kilo ohms. If I take a 4 kilo ohm resistor and I put it in here and I work out some values, then we should find that the two voltages now come out to be the same. So let's readdress our problem, make it look a bit neater. So what's that voltage going to be? Well, we might as well use the resistor equation for this one. So for the first part up here, we'll use V out equals V in, which is six, times by R2, which is 900, divided by 900 plus 200, which is 1100, which equals, and that's no longer trivial, so calling about Windows calculator, six times 900 divided by 1100 equals 4.9 volts. Okay, so we can write that one on here. And now if we take this potential divider here and we do the same problem, we get running out of space right here. We go V out equals, in this case it's 6 again, times by 18,000, divided by R1 plus R2 is 18 plus 4 is 22,000, and we should find it gives us the same voltage, 6 times 18,000, divided by 22,000, there you go, 4.9 volts as well. So an important problem, often involved with comparators, finding the missing resistor to give you two voltages the same.